Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a reference field to uh, from one table to a different table to display information. So uh, let's uh, imagine in this case, we got an ad set and uh, what we want to do is to make a custom field similar to this one, uh, which we can enter a person ID uh, who is the owner of this ad set. And uh, by uh, having the ID of that person here, then we can display all of the details about that person like uh, email address and uh, full name for example in other fields then we can do that by using relationship in Maximo so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a field here uh, to display to uh, for us to enter and display the person ID and uh, display the uh, other information we can pull out from the uh, uh, person record so I'm gonna do it. what I'm gonna do is open the database configuration application and then open uh, the asset table. Then what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna add a new field to uh, display. Maybe I'm gonna call it person ID to make it more specific. Uh, of the owner of the asset. And now I'm going to make it an AON field. I will leave it probably a length. So I'm going to make it very simple here. Okay. So now we can store the ID of the person in this field. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this to change first. And I'm going to, all right. So in this case, I will have to turn on admin mode. We can, uh, because this is a uh, development environment, we can uh, skip this step by uh, the password uh, requiring step by uh, turning on of uh, e-signature. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open the e-signature here. Open database. This step is uh, uh, not necessary. I'm just uh, showing how it can be done. I'm open the database configuration, turning off is signature for the action applying configuration change when we apply database chain and turn it off for uh, when turning on admin mode as well okay right so now let's turn on admin mode okay now let's turn it on yeah you can see it doesn't ask for username and password anymore Okay, now admin mode is on, and now I can apply database chain. Yep, so you can see it doesn't ask for username and password anymore. You can just go ahead and do it. And while it is applying chain, I can just uh, ignore it because it is running in the background. What I can do is I can go back to application designer and add some field that I can use so let's say I'm going to open the asset application and I'm going to add the field to our screen so I'm going to delete this one because I don't want to have it now I'm going to open the control palette and drag a new text box down here and I'm going to associate it with our uh, new field which I believe I put it a person ID yeah so at this point it will show me an invalid binding probably because uh, database configuration hasn't finished yet but if I uh, go back here and if I uh, open the asset application let me quickly check if database configuration has finished yes it is finished now so if I open the asset application then I can see that it is working now I can enter anything because this is just a simple text field alright so now let's uh, quickly open a person record so we can do that by go to the admin menu here and go to a resource menu and go to the people application this is the application that store all of the person uh, record or person details 
let's say uh, we open this guy so this guy person ID name is zones and his name is this one display name and if we click on it we can see we, uh, if we click on this field and we press and alternate F1 we will display the uh, database uh, table and the column of this field so in this case is a table person and the display name is uh, uh, the column name uh, is display name right so now let's say we trying to display this field and this field for this person record when we link it with the asset record so now let's uh, go back to our asset table in this case we want to display it in the asset application so I'm going to open the asset offset and in the relationship tab I'm gonna add a new relationship and in this case it will point to the person table so I'm gonna keep the relationship a name so I'm gonna hit, uh, own uh, uh, detail I'm gonna own a relationship just so you uh, uh, can distinguish normally I would using the same name as the uh, table but in this case I'm gonna using the owner relationship here and I'm gonna tell it to look up from the person table where the column person ID will be equal to this variable so what is this in this case I put a colon in front of a variable which means that during the runtime Maximo will replace this variable with the column from the object that or the record that I'm opening so let's say if I'm open a asset record then uh, whatever store in this field will be filled here and uh, uh, as a result it will become a where clause where uh, it will be something like this select star from person table where person id equal um, zones so uh, this is this part will become this part that is uh, this uh, variable will be replaced with the value of the text field of this field right so that's uh, how it works Oop, uh, I press something here so I close it all right so in this case I'm gonna save it okay so with relationship when I make a change to relationship I don't have to apply uh, database configuration because this is a just a reference information it doesn't make any structural change to the database so now if I go back to our application designer and open the asset application and now let's add two more text field down here and if we right click on it we can specify the attribute so first we're gonna have to use a relationship name and then use a dot and then write in the attribute name uh, or column name that we want to display so in this case I'm gonna use a display name All right and then for this guy or this field I'm gonna using the same relationship but I'm gonna using email probably emails uh, column is not there so I'm gonna use a maybe a different maybe address no it's not there as well so uh, yeah so in this case what I can do I can click on this button and search for the person table and with the person table I'm gonna press put equal here to display the person table only so I can go down here and I can choose a list of available columns within the person table so in this case I'm going to 
yeah so let's say I'm going to display the address line number one only I did something very wrong let me do that again click on properties so I'm gonna have to put in the relationship name first and put a dot notation and then the column name so it will display the address field here now let me save it and I'm gonna go back to our asset application and now open any record and now what I wanna do is I'm gonna just write in the name of the guy here I'm gonna click on save so you can see because we enter name of a person here it will look up to the person table and pull out the reference information in this case is the name of the guy and if I write something here let's say I'm gonna update it and I'm gonna save it so this will save this uh, into the person table as well so now if I'm open the same record in the person table I'm going to this app people application and I'm going to open that record again you can see that it is updated to this table as well so that's how relationship works in Maximo